Hello, and thanks for joining us at Sensors Converge 2021. I'm Dan Bronworth. What if you could prototype a wide array of optical measurements on one platform with the ability to deploy and switch between methods just by changing a software configuration? Let me show you the new rapid prototyping and configurable measurement platform we have for optical liquid analysis. Our reference design platform is called CN0503 and utilizes the ADPD4101 photometric front end IC from analog devices. Two of the most notable features of the ADPD4101 are the high optical signal to noise ratio of up to 100 dB, which qualifies it for instrumentation applications, and the high level of ambient light rejection. Today, we're demonstrating ca calibrated quinine fluorescence, colorimetric pH, and turbidity, all quickly configured as three of the measurement channels. Let's make some quick measurements. We have channel one set up for fluorescence of quinine in tonic water. When we expose 365 nanometer ultraviolet light, quinine fluoresces in the blue range. First, I'll place a sample of DI water, which should read 0% tonic. Now, the tonic water sample. The filter in front of the 90 degree detector removes the UV excitation and only allows blue fluorescent emission from quinine to pass through to the, to the detector. You can see the result, uh, the resulting measurement about 80 ppm, which is typical for tonic water. Next, let's select channel four, which is configured for turbidity. This light scattering measurement is based on a modification of EPA method 180.1 using a 530 nanometer LED instead of a tungsten light bulb for the excitation. We avoid errors due to uh, sample color by using the ratio of the 90 degree and 180 degree detector readings. Double checking our zero value with that um, deionized water. Now a sample with uh, a drop of milk added. It's hard to see the difference with the naked eye but our measurement clearly shows a reading of about 20 NTUs. Finally, we have channel two set up for an absorbent space color metric pH measurement. Here I have two samples with bromothymal blue pH color indicator. Yellow has a pH around six or so, and blue has a pH around 7.6 or so. Our measurement platform can easily detect the color difference and translate that to a pH level. So what happens with ambient light interference? You can see that we've made stable measurements in an open environment, enabled by ADPD 4101's ambient light rejection scheme. But what happens if I shine some colored light corresponding to a different color metric value into the sample? I'm trying to trick the system into reading a higher pH value by mixing blue light with my yellow sample. You might expect the measurement value to shift, but it holds steady. We're using a synchronous detection method while pulsing the platform's source LED at a defined frequency. This allows us to subtract out both steady and asynchronously flickering background light, eliminating the need for shielding. This ambient light rejection is automatic without the need for external control loops or digital algorithms. So there you have it. Three different measurements, uh, three different measurement modalities fluorescence, scattering, and absorbance, all with robust ambient light rejection, showing superb signal-to-noise ratios, all in one rapid measurement platform, all enabled by one photometric front-end IC, ADPD4101. Thanks for checking it out. For more information, please visit analog.com slash CN0503.